Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring, and the first episode in a new series called 10 Paints or Less, in which I show off how to paint miniatures using 10 paints or less, usually. Um, today we're looking at the Alien Face Huggers. Um, if you watched my unboxing of the Alien Face Huggers, you'll know that they aren't unicast miniatures, so they did have some underfill under the legs. So before painting these guys, I did very carefully trim that out. It took forever and it was a horrible process, um, but I did manage to do it without losing any legs. I then stuck all of the face huggers to a piece of card and I sprayed them with a um, Games Workshop black spray primer. And there they are, ready to paint. Um, and as we're doing this, um, I would appreciate any feedback on this particular video because, um, like I say, it's possibly going to be a new series. So the first paint is Lead Belcher paint. Um, and what I'm doing here is I'm actually painting from the base up, which isn't something I would normally do. Normally I would paint the miniature, paint the base last. However, these um, face huggers, they're very small, they're very low to the ground, they're more like counters um, than miniatures. So I'm painting from the base because it'll be difficult to paint the base afterwards. And as you can see, um, I've watered down the lead belcher a little bit and I'm just slapping it on to the metal grid work that is around the face huggers. And you end up with something that looks like that. As you can see, the face huggers uh, make it very difficult to actually get into the base, which is why I'm working from the ground up. At this point, clean your water um, before going to Inky by Darkness. We're going to paint the slime on the bases here, but you need clean water because you don't want any metal flakes from the metallic paints in your water at this point. Um, so again, I'm thinning it down slightly and I am using a, um, a paper palette that I picked up in a, in a hobby store to uh, thin and mix my paints on. Um, as you can see, I'm now just applying the Inky by Darkness to the slime elements, being very careful not to go over the metal work that I've already painted. Um, at this point, it doesn't matter if you get it over the face huggers. And there you go, that's what that will look like. Next up, we have Non Oil, everybody's favorite Non Oil, um, which I'm going to be using to bring out definition on the base elements. And I am literally just slopping it on And that's going over the grid work, the metal grid work, and over the slime. It's going to bring out the definition and it's also going to knock down the colours a little bit. So they don't look so shiny, so um, so, so bright and garish. And again, not being too careful about this, not watering down the, the wash or anything, uh, just slopping it on. And you end up with something that looks like that. Okay, we need to do a little bit more on the slime. So I've got ash grey here. Um, you can use, if you're using Games Workshop Paints, um, Administratum grey or Fortress grey or Ulthuan grey, anything really. Um, and we are doing dry brushing. Um, load up the brush um, and then wipe most of the paint off on a piece of tissue or something. Um, and then you just very carefully whip it over the top of just the slime elements. Um, we're avoiding the metalwork, just the slime. I am using a small dry brush for this. And then Blue Tone Ink is uh, an army painter, Blue Tone Ink, and I'm just going to put this, again, I'm not thinning it down or anything, it's going to go straight over the top of those slime elements, and it's going to um, give it a blue tinge. And that's what we end up with. And of course, what you've got is um, the Blue Tone Ink has actually gone over the, the grey, the grey highlight, and it's made it so it doesn't look grey anymore, it looks blue. Next up, we have Rakarth Flesh, and this is what we're going to use to um, to base coat the um, the face huggers themselves. So again, I'm going to thin this paint down um, on my palette, so it's easier to work with. And then I'm just going to carefully apply it all over the face huggers. Um, this is this is the bit that's going to take the longest with these particular miniatures because. Obviously, you've done the base at this point. The base is finished, so you don't want to get any of this Rakarth flesh on the metalwork or on the slime. So very carefully, just apply it to all of the face hugger flesh elements. And you end up with that. So of course, now um, we need to bring out some definition on these face huggers. So it's back to washing again my favorite technique, um, Agrax Earthshade. So again, um, I'm not watering it down, 
but I am just put, applying it onto the onto the palette because um, we only want the Agrax Earthshade going on the face huggers themselves. We don't want it to go onto the bases. So by putting some on the palette, it just controls a little bit how much I've got on my brush. And I'm just very carefully going over the face huggers themselves. And that will go into the recesses of the miniature and just bring out all those details, make them pop a little bit. As you can see there. And that's what it's like when they've all been washed. I mean, at that point, you've pretty much got decent looking tabletop miniatures, but I'm gonna do just a few more steps using my Citadel dry brush. I'm using a large dry brush at this point, and I'm going back to Rakarth Flesh because obviously the um, the Agrax Earthshade has toned down the colors on those face hugs and made them quite dark. So I'm just gonna do a dry brush of the original Rakarth Flesh over the top again, just to bring out the, the, the top details again. Again, I'm just going over the tops, being very careful not to get it on the bases, because obviously I don't want to have to do re retouches on the bases if I can help it. And there we go. Um, and I'm going to do one more um, highlight on these face huggers. I'm going to use Ulthuan Grey. And this is going to be a very top highlight, just on the, the tops of the legs and the spiny bit along the top and down the, the ridges of the tails. Um, just to, to bring out the details just a little bit more, make them pop just that extra little bit. You can get away with not doing it, really. And there they are. Um, my lighting for that I'm working with... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to do Ab Ab Abaddon Black here. This is the final stage. It's just um, applying Abaddon Black around the rim of the bases just to give them a, a, a more finished look. But anyway, like I was saying, um, my lighting that I'm painting with, I'm using very bright lights so I can see what I'm doing. And it has blown out the colours a little bit. But if we look at this final image, this is what we end up with. So... All told, I've used nine different paints on these guys, and all told, the longest time was waiting for the, the various washes to dry. Um, it's mainly ink washes and uh, dry brush techniques, which are really easy to do, and I think the results are pretty good. Um, all, all told, with the time with paintbrush in my hand was probably about two hours, and that was just to make sure that I took my time with the face huggers. But anyway, that is that. That is the end of this video. Um, please let me know what you think, because like I say, um, I'm planning on maybe doing some more of these um, in a new series called 10 Paints or Less, where I'm going to try and show... Um, because I'm a lazy painter, and I like to get results quick, and um, this, is, this is one way of doing it. Um, Hopefully someone finds this useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all again very soon. Bye bye.